Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Casual Couch Gaming Random Plays. Today I'm continuing off Mario Kart 8 with part 3. But we unlocked Lemmy, I believe. It was one of the Cooper kids anyway. There's that many of them, it's not funny. We've also unlocked some funky monster truck tires. But we're not going to be playing that, or using that, as we start off into the Star Cup today. So first course, Sunshine Airport. Nice. Oh, did I let you guys know? I've also got anxiety when it comes to flying. I actually don't like the takeoff at all. It makes me very anxious. And yeah, flying makes me very anxious. I don't know what it is about it, but thankfully, this is just a game. And this game doesn't give me any anxiety, so that for that, I'm thankful. Anyway, so we're joined today with Waluigi, as he's already miles in front in first position. So they wouldn't even open up the... <laughs> this course is so unreal. They wouldn't open up a plane like that. But i got to say, the way that they've got it taking off is so cool. That, I will say, is awesome. I'm surprised, though, that the track doesn't get too close to the plane. I mean, look at that. It just barely misses the track. That would be terrifying. But it does look like a gorgeous, very gorgeous airport, might I add. And imagine going at full speed in a cart as a, as a plane is taking off. Now that would be terrifying. But Waluigi's not having any issues here whatsoever. None of the other computer players are anywhere to be found. As Waluigi's just taking his sweet time through the airport. Watch out for the baggage. You don't want to hit into somebody's packaging now, do you? That could spell disaster. Could you imagine the cleanup for that? It's like, hmm, ma'am, I'm sorry to say, but some moron race car driver smashed into your luggage. It's gone everywhere and it was destroyed. I hope you had insurance. As Waluigi gets smashed by a blue shell, but luckily was right near a boost, or well, didn't affect him at all. Here's a good question for you guys out there. Have you ever lost any luggage? Have you ever unfortunately been subjected to your luggage going missing? I hope you haven't, but if you have, chuck a like or a story in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, so while Luigi checks behind him, not another cart in sight. The airport itself is very, I was gonna say very deserted, but there does seem to be some people here or there. I wonder what those, um, digital displays show. That would be interesting to see. But I will say, like, the turbines, the details, the tyres, everything on the plane. They went into so much detail on this, it's unreal. I really, really like it. Oof. Falling off the plane there. Luckily, Waluigi didn't get hurt. Well, you can't really get hurt in this game. I mean, could you imagine if you could? Lightning from the computer. Is this going to be enough to stop Waluigi, though? Nope, not enough. And I don't know what painting was on that flight, on that plane, but it looked very beautiful. Last lap, and Waluigi is almost to the finish line. No problems here for Waluigi whatsoever. Other computer players didn't stand a chance today as he drives across the grass. Oh, okay. If you notice, if you have a look into the, into the crowd, there's some characters from Super Mario Sunshine there, as well as some random other toads as well. Uh, okay. If anyone knows what those stars mean, please let me know as we head to Dolphin Shoals. So we start the race underwater. How are we breathing? Propeller! Propeller power. Still, how are we breathing underwater? Does anybody know how Waluigi's breathing underwater? So we've got dolphins who are playing tricks with us as we go through the hoops as well. Still, I want to know, how can the races breathe underwater? What's the trick here? I thought we were going to fall off the track then, but there's a lot of pipes that push you up and a giant eel. Is this the same eel from Super Mario 64? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll never know. It would be interesting to know that, though. 
as we finally exit the water stage. I gotta say, I love the detail in Mario Kart 8, how all the water droplets just like stream down your screen. That is so awesome. What would have been even better is if like, you know that effect, like when you're speeding down the highway and you've got water on your windscreen, how the water like uh, bubbles away to the sides. That would have been cool to actually like have the water droplets sort of like fly off to the sides. That would have been cool. But I really say I love the graphics in Mario Kart 8. They've done a phenomenal job. The amount of details, the colors, some of the realism. I mean, driving underwater isn't real. <laughs> now is it? But regardless, some of the graphics are absolutely gorgeous. Could you imagine actually being able to go underwater? And who stole in first position? None other than Toadette. How dare you steal first position from Waluigi. He will come after you, just you wait. Waluigi stealing back first position and misses a red shell. Nice dodge. Is anyone else going to come after Waluigi? This is a first because I haven't seen any other computer players in quite some time. But I really have no idea where Toadette came from. But Waluigi sails back into first position, gets hit with a red shell, and then bombarded with a blue shell. Oh man. Another red shell as well. Man, it seems like the computer players really have it out for Waluigi right now. As we head into final lap, Waluigi is in second position. Can his skills in the first two laps come in handy as he regains his position? Well, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Toadette is up ahead and Waluigi is down on coins. Because when you get hurt, you lose coins and the more coins you have, the faster you go. He's pulling out all the tricks in the bag to try and regain position while Luigi's on his, uh, while Luigi's on Waluigi's tail. Man, that's a tongue twister. So, Luigi and Waluigi, oh, got hit by the boomerang. They're playing trade-offs. And Waluigi shunting Luigi out the way, regaining first position. This is fierce. Can Waluigi hold his position here as it is final lap? One wrong move or one wrong move. And it spells disaster as he goes off course, deflecting the green shell with the banana. Well played, Waluigi. Well done. Oh no, no, no. Oh, so lucky. Why weren't you paying attention, Waluigi? That could have almost spelled doom. But he just managed to get into first position and cross the finish line as we go to Electrodome. Okay, third race for this cup, Electrodome. And off he goes. This is, looks like a pretty cool stage. All the bass speakers playing, all the colorful lights. This reminds me of a disco, or a very high-tech um, place anyway. The track is lighting up. This looks cool. And I gotta say, whoever designed these courses they, they were either on something, or they had really good imagination. But they're gorgeous. The Mario Kart word is upside down, so he must be upside down. The, ha the cart seems to be having troubles handling, as Waluigi is slowed right down by heading into the side rail. Collecting coins will help him regain that speed, though. He grabs a green shell and uses it to protect him. He's still in first position though, so I don't know what he's protecting himself from, if anything. Some Polarina plants there as a red shell hits, but we run into the Polarina plant. Waluigi could have easily taken that corner out a lot better, but I don't know why he didn't. As he gets struck by lightning. What a shocking turn of events here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, I know, a crazy pun in there. I decided to have a bit of fun. Alright, Waluigi still steadily holding his position at first. He still seems to be having a lot of trouble handling his cart though. Will he be able to manage to hold on to first position though? He, what? he hits into those bumpers. Now those bumpers when you hit into them give you a small boost. But if you're not careful, they can take you in the wrong direction or even shunt you off the course. So you need to be really careful. Grabs a banana. Will this be enough to protect him? He avoids the side rails nicely. 
taking the corners, I think he's slowly starting to get used to his car. Now the thing is, each car has its own handling. And a blue shell is tailing Waluigi, plummeting him to the goop down below. Oh dear, definitely not good. Whoever has it in for Waluigi has managed to get him twice. He's only got one coin, which means he'll be going super slow. A cone comes out of nowhere. I think it's Luigi. Luigi seems to be after while Luigi. Maybe those two are having a really bitter rivalry. Regardless, Waluigi needs to play it smart here in order to be able to keep the lead. As the TV screen shows some Coopers and Shy Guys dancing along. Luigi comes in from nowhere and tries to steal first position, but Waluigi is holding strong. He's not letting Luigi take his lead. Waluigi is fierce in holding first position. He will not yield. He will show Waluigi. Waluigi will show Luigi what he's made of if he didn't keep running into the side walls. He fires the green shell though. He should have held on to it in case Wa Luigi decided to do something. But regardless. Oh, and that's exactly what I was talking about. The green shell comes from nowhere. Can Waluigi hold the position here? Luigi seems to be firing green shells furiously. Gets Waluigi, and that's exactly what I was worried about. Luigi manages to get first position, and poor Waluigi gets second. Oh dear, it seems Luigi really wanted first position, didn't he? Poor Waluigi. Luigi definitely gave Waluigi some hassles as we head off to Mount Wario. What did Wario do to have a whole entire mountain named after him? That's what I'd like to know. So Waluigi furiously taking off to try and regain first position. I think he's going to have to play very smart here in order to regain the lost time that happened in the last race from Luigi. Luigi was playing really fiercely and provided Waluigi with a lot of competition and a lot of hassles as well. So Waluigi needs to really play it strong here and go on the right track and make sure he doesn't make any mistakes. If, the, if he's having this many hassles in 50cc, I can only imagine the amount of hassles we will see when we head to 50 or even 100. But Waluigi seems to be holding first position quite well. As we head into deep into the cave, we see bats and waterfalls. Going down the waterfall and into what looks like a sewer, a Wario Dam. Okay, so we're heading into the dam. This is a very interesting uh, level indeed. More boosts and water. Looks like a water hazard. We miss the boost. But we get that boost. Nicely done, Waluigi. <laughs> Waluigi shouts out, I'll get you. But there's no one to get. We're in first. Unless he's talking to the players who are behind him. As he does a trick to try and avoid the trees. Gorgeous view of the snow-covered trees. He has a red shell in tow. Dare say that Waluigi should hold on to this to protect himself. Hitting into the tree, but that doesn't slow him down as we hit the final lap. Well, these aren't really laps. I'd say this is more like a circuit because it's one big long straight run. So Waluigi is still powering on in first as we slide down the slopes between the flags as Waluigi is picking up speed. How far away is he from the check mark as he does a whole bunch of tricks? I dare say, he's got this victory in the bag. No challenge here for Waluigi. After some hassles from Luigi in the third race, he manages to fly down the hill and gets pretty much the race in the bag here, ladies and gentlemen. He's enjoyed it and he's deserved it. Nicely done. as he slides into the finish line and celebrates his victory. 
Well, thanks for watching today there, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, we will be playing the Special Cup. So keep tuned, keep enjoying, and until next time, Magnus out. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.